Hi, good morning. Assalamu alaikum. Faisal Riyad Ahmed. So, dear students, it is for uh, Sir Charles Dickens' Hot Fans. It is for published in 1854. So, it is for such a when Charles Dickens thought of, uh, of writing this very novel, so he has got to find uh, the material for this very novel. He traveled to, uh, is for, uh, to the town of uh, Preston. He is for the, uh, the city, the town of uh, Preston. Uh, he traveled to Preston, the town, this very city. He has got to find the material for, uh, for his uh, novel. Uh, so this was, uh, uh, basically, at that time, uh, sort of cotton workers uh, were uh, at strike. So, what Charles Dickens saw is for his uh, very little of the, of the strike. But what he came with the impression that what, uh, is what the impression was is for the ugly and gravy in what image of the, of the town. So, this is what uh, then there was no such difficulty for Charles Dickens of conceiving the fictitious town. Coke Chan. This is also the setting of the novel is Coke Chan. And this is what the original town, this is what the mill town or the industrial town of England was, Christian. And this is is for Charles Dickens conceived a fictitious town, a mill town or industrial town, Coke Chan. So this is for this an important chap, is for uh, the description of, uh, of Coke Chan. And an artistic view of this which is for description of this very fictitious mill town or industrial town, Coke town. So, this is uh, what we do find is for all the environment of this town, the inhabitants, it's what all the people living in, in, in this very town is for what uh, it expresses. Charles Dickens, uh, such, uh, uh, such is for a very uh, artistic way, uh, such uh, depicting this very fictitious town, Coke town. Is for the uh, manufacturing town, all factories, all those workers working in those factories, and it's what all the life uh, around this what the factory, all those people living in that very town, what they are just uh, toiling all day long, what they just go in the morning and then what they come in, this what the late night. So it's for what the environment of the folk town is, what it shows, this what it's for the depiction of this uh, of this town is very uh, superb one by Charles Dickens. This what the machines, the factories, the working hands, all this what uh, this what is for the environment, this what all below me, all this what really every one, and what uh, this what is for this what the environment is. So this the folk town is it uh, this what uh, is important uh, is for an uh, important background for this very novel. So this what uh, uh, is for the novel is there are key parts in this very novel. This were uh, basically three books. The first one, the book first, sewing, the book second, reaping, and the book third, this was uh, garnering. So there are basically three parts, book first, book second, and book third. And this is all about sewing, reaping, and garnering. So this is what it is all about. So as far I come to, this was the main uh, characterization. Here's for the characterization uh, in this novel, very novel is, um, which uh, Charles Dickens is Charles Dickens, which uh, very superbly, uh, this which, uh, this which, uh, giving the description of a variety of characters. So this was uh, some memorable, some fascinating characters. What we do find in the, in this very novel is for memorable and fascinating characters, a variety of characters, real life characters, and uh, it's for what, uh, what I do think is for the characterization in uh, this very novel is what it's more like a moral fable, a moral fable. This what could be based on morality, what they are obviously what is for categorization of characters in something good and bad, what they are of some good characters, what they are of some bad characters, and what is what the division between all those characters, good characters on one side and bad characters on others on other side, what it looks like a moral fable and what it is uh, based on something on morality. So this part is for this part more of them just like what it is. And uh, now this, uh, if I come to main characters, if for the main characters of the novel uh, are, is for this part the first one, Thomas uh, Greg Bryant. Thomas Greg Bryant. Uh, basically this part a central character, I define character, and this part all the, the story revolves around this very character. Here's what it is. Uh, 
uh, what uh, he thought, what he sows, what he reaps, and this is what he uh, garners. So this is what is all about uh, Thomas Red Bright. So a wealthy merchant, the fact worshipping practical man. So this is what he believes in facts and statistics. What he believes this was something uh, rationality. What he uh, this was uh, he just uh, a rational man, rational man, and uh, what he all all the all the time what he talks about the facts and statistics and doesn't believe something uh, fancy and imagination or feeling or emotion. So this what uh, he is a wealthy merchant, a practical man, and this what uh, later on a member of parliament, but he founded a school. Uh, this what uh, school were all based on all this what uh, on the teaching, on the teaching, this what on facts and statistics, what facts are uh, and statistics are taught there, what something what in a very disciplined way, I mean in a very strict way, and uh, for uh, his own children, for uh, Tom and Loisia, uh, they also this what, uh, uh, what they are taught there in this very school with other, other children. And uh, it's what they thought the environment is a too strict one, and what they just uh, follow these sort of strict rules. There is no such thing which, uh, about uh, sort of no talking about fancy imagination or emotion, and uh, what all about uh, facts and statistics and all about this. So he has five children, five children. But uh, as for the two men, uh, this is what is for two main children of Thomas Grant. Brian, this is what is for important but what they play. Uh, important role in the novel. The first one, Thomas uh, Gray Bryan Jr., but basically known as uh, uh, Tom. And the second one uh, is his daughter, uh, Louisa. So, she was, uh, his daughter, Louisa, and basically these two main characters, these two children of uh, Thomas uh, Gray Bryan, she plays important role, and what they are taught in the very school of, uh, of him, in a very strict way, and a certain very disciplinary, uh, searching one image. So this uh, is for now. I, uh, this would come to the second one. Uh, this was the uh, important uh, character is the Joshua Donderby. Joshua Donderby is for again this was again character. Uh, basically, a bully, a boastful, a lawyer, I took rage and which uh, uh, factory owner and banker, the exploiter of the weak, and what he this was uh, all the time what he does. This was uh, exploiting the weak and. Uh, uh, <coughs> Yeah, an arrogant person, a, a, a proud person, always talking about his humble start and what it is. Uh, uh, so, this is what my dear says for the main characters uh, the first one, Thomas Craig Grind, and this is what the second one, Joshua Gunderboy, and these two characters saw. So, uh, for the, uh, this is uh, these two characters. Now, I try to come to uh, some other characters, say uh, for. Uh, Okay, this uh, is for a brief introduction to the characters uh, uh, in the novel. These are uh, written on the whiteboard. All these characters are some of uh, them are main characters, some of them are minor characters, but they are but they are playing role of in, in the novel. So the first one I will take, Tom, is for the son of uh, Thomas Red Grind. Uh, uh, is for uh, Tom is Tom is a young man, a young man, and what uh, basically uh, how could I uh, which, uh, how could I uh, character I would just express uh, and I could I could create a young man loves money and gambling loves himself than uh, uh, anything else and what he which, uh, he loves his uh, his sister but he just uh, betrays. Uh, uh, his uh, sister uh, Alicia. So Tom, Tom is just a child, but he's working in the bank of uh, in the bank of Underboy, and then uh, this what uh, later on what he just uh, robs the bank, and then what he just uh, flees uh, to other country. So Tom is such uh, the sort of the child of the son of uh, uh, Thomas uh, Great Granger and Jerry uh, Ford. Now the second sort of the character is Alicia. Loisa is the, the daughter of uh, the, the elder daughter of uh, uh, Thomas Craig Grange. She is also a, a main character, and uh, this is what she is taught there in the very school of, uh, of her father. And uh, how far she how far she was brought up. She was brought up. Now this is what she, no such fancy, no such imagination. 
what she uh, this what she was brought uh, in the line of her job, the facts and statistics and all these things. And uh, when uh, her father asked her uh, to this was to marry Vander uh, Bai, so she was finally uh, accepts the proposal and she uh, this was marries Vander Bai. Is for Vander Bai is a twice half of, of her age. But what it is uh, something uh, not uh, looking but towards something there is a law, uh, this or something feeling or emotion. No, 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 no. This is all about this what is for all about based on materialism, based on something uh, um, on facts. So Louisa, what she is uh, uh, emotionally detached uh, and what uh, marriage is uh, this sort of something of failure, of failure. And what uh, finally what we do uh, what we do find uh, uh, in such in the novel when, when she comes uh, uh, to her father and this what she, what she begs that uh, I, I don't know Mr. Bonder why and what uh, um, such uh, I'm all this what is for exhausted and tired of this person and uh, this what is for now this what I come to Stephen Blackpool Stephen Blackpool uh, this what uh, uh, a, a young worker uh, this what uh, a man of great uh, honesty of compassion of integrity and uh, for this what is Stephen Blackpool when he is asked to, to, to join the, the union the union, what he refuses on the base that they are uh, developing the tension between uh, the employer and between so for uh, between the workers. So he refuses. So he is sort of cast out by his own by or by sort by his own workers, and uh, uh, sort finally he is fired by such uh, his own employer, Mr. Donderbar. So he is a man of. Uh, Man of so integrity, of honesty, and what we do find out. A good character in this very novel. A good character. A good character. But what the end of this very character is, he dies. He dies, or uh, he dies. And uh, uh, basically, he is in love with uh, with this very, uh, this very, very girl, Rachel. Uh, uh, she loves. Uh, he loves Stephen Blackpool. Loves Rachel. But uh, as far uh, Stephen Blackpool is already married, and uh, this which, uh, his wife is drunk on, and uh, 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 this which, it's a love, a love between Stephen uh, Blackpool and uh, Rachel. Rachel she is uh, uh, single, uh, honest, and loves uh, this which, uh, uh, loves Stephen Blackpool. But there is no such marriage. There is no such marriage. This love affair between Stephen Blackpool and Rachel. Now what I come to is for uh, in, on this side, CC Jew, uh, this was another character, uh, poor girl, and uh, what she belongs to. Uh, this was uh, the daughter of a clown uh, in Celery's uh, uh, circus. And this now she uh, is there at the school of uh, Thomas Grant Grind. His father just uh, leaves, uh, leaves her and then what uh, uh, this was, uh, leaves her, her forever and then what um, then it, it doesn't appear. It doesn't appear until to the this what in the end of the morning. It doesn't appear. CC Jew, this what what she believes, imagination, what she believes, this what uh, something which uh, this what uh, fancy and which uh, she knows if at all to sympathize with other people. So this is CC Jew, this what she is uh, central character, I mean fine character, and she what she marries in the end. She marries in the end, and what she lives a very really happy life. Uh, then this was uh, Mrs. Sepersich, Mrs. Sepersich, again this was uh, a bad character, a bad character, and uh, what she belongs to, a lead to us, uh, aristocrat, and uh, as far she is selfish, self-interested, manipulative, dishonest, uh, and uh, what she is the housekeeper of uh, Mr. Donderby, and there what she lives uh, at the apartment uh, uh, of Mr. Donderby, and uh, as far as marriage is a failure one, her marriage is a failure one, and what now she is just uh, a collapse of her marriage. Again, this what uh, the character is Mr. Ned Chakum Child, this what a sick, uh, a very sick, a traditional uh, teacher, unpleasant one, and uh, what she taught there uh, in the school of uh, this what Thomas Grant. Grant. Uh, this what, uh, I come to the Mr. Salary. Another character is the owner of, uh, uh, of the circus and what is the profiteer of the, of the circus. Now I come to Slackbridge, another minor character, uh, this was a union leader and what he exhorted uh, for the, the workers uh, to protest against uh, the employer, Mr. Uh, this was Wonderby. Uh, now I mean Sir Bitzer, another character, 
which uh, he taught there at the school of uh, Thomas Greenkind, and what he develops with the character is for uh, this very character is uh, uh, Mr. Kent character, uh, which uh, is work is spying on, spying on all those workers. Uh, I'll come to now, Mr. Uh, for the last one is uh, James Orthos. Uh, James Orthos is uh, an aristocrat, but he comes from London and uh, is for to begin his uh, political career as a disciple of uh, Thomas Greenkind. He is attracted to uh, the daughter of uh, Thomas Greenkind. Uh, Lisa, and then when she uh, she leaves his uh, uh, her, so this what all these characters are. It's uh, uh, this what to introduce all those characters to you. It's why you may immediately read all these one, and there is no such problem while reading the text. Thank you.